feels like it was more or less an OC decision, like they need story points in their relationship. I would never, um, I would, as an audience watching this, never ever assume anything is for OC reasons. I also, in character, people shouldn't do that. People should never assume there's OC reasons for that. That's my biggest pet peeve. Um, is, first of all, people, like, I, I don't know. OC should never come into in character. And also, I don't know. I sent you a DM. Oh, I, I normally don't look at them when I'm streaming. I'll, I'll look at them in a second. Um, yeah. But um, felt it just felt inorganic for the story. Let's let's keep. Uh, I don't know. I think I think this is their story that they're making as audience members and as like people like from my points of view. You know, they know their characters the best. They know what should happen in the story the best. They know what they're gonna like. What Eve and Luciano would do the best. You know, and there's so much that you don't see off stream too. I know that Eve plays a lot off stream. Um, I don't know that Luciano does, but like these characters know what the these players know what their characters would do the best. And I think that sometimes if you say that it feels inorganic or that there's OC reasons, it takes away from what they're trying to do and it takes away from the the trust that you're giving the RPers that they're doing this. Um for good reason and they're doing this out of you know the the knowledge they have for their characters you know no need to say sorry i just i just wanted to put that out there you know um i'm sure that there's a lot of feelings from fans on both sides about this uh relationship i know that this relationship was one that was you know people had a like there was a lot of fans of this relationship and their relationship was great you know like i was a fan of the relationship i think that they're adorable i think that they were great i thought this a little family was adorable um but it also does like standing there and talking it felt like something out of wild the turning point of okay okay look if if we were in wild if we were in wild i would expect the, the, the beginning of it is the adorable little family, the lovely, happy home. And then Luciano chooses to have this new business venture. It strains on their family. Suddenly, he has to make a choice between the family, the love, and the work. He chooses work. He loses the family. That makes him work even harder. It goes into darker spiral. Everything gets more dark and brutal. And he starts, like, you know, making even more decisions. And he starts to lose himself. And, like, that. that's the kind of story that I would see from this moment as an RPer. That's where I would take it if I was in Luciano's shoes. And why I think that would be a really cool, like, as a wild RPer, that to like this decision seems like a really good decision for RP because of what he can make out of it. He can make something really great out of it. And I have complete faith that he would because I've seen it happen before. I, I, I literally that exact same story arc was what killed Peaches, what killed our main character. And that same, like he's, he's like Zetark, all of the Dicenzos have made really dope story shit like that so i trust that the decision that he and that they have made in character is going to lead to even more interesting rp so i look forward to seeing it i look forward to seeing his character progression i really hope you know that he is able to create both of them are able to create fulfilling character arcs and story from this